show. No more show on late night. Not the illustrious guest. The show's even better when we got a homie coming through. Meryl, who's in the building today? Yes, sir. You just said it. Our guy, you know what I'm saying? Writer, director, actor, comedian, slash, 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 slash. He's getting <laughs> to that back. And he's nominated for a motherfucking Oscar. Make some noise. It's our guy, Trayvon Free. Let's Dude, go, Make some baby. noise for Trayvon Free, the homie. Ah, uh, you know what I'm saying? What's... Trayvon, how's it going, my guy? I'm good, man. It's so good to see you guys. I miss our dinners, man. For real, bro. Yo, for man. real. <laughs> pandemic. This pandemic through it like ruined everything. We used to be able to just come out to LA and just yes. chill and make the restaurants upset because it was like, yo, we were supposed to close at 11. Why are these famous <laughs> people still at the table at 11.45? Like, please go home. Please uh, go home. I got to clean this table. Yo, like, why you yo. want me to take a picture of all 20 of y'all? I got to clean yeah. this table. Okay. Because <laughs> Tommy said so. Uh, but then they get the tip and they're like, oh, okay. And then they find an the Instagram and they're like, had a wonderful time with you. Please come back anytime. But, uh, <laughs> yo, Trayvon, congrats on the nomination. To Thanks, this is strangers. Man. You know what I'm saying? Nominated for best short. Listen, how's it's it been, It's been crazy, man. How's it feel to have like something you created be recognized by people in your industry? It feels crazy, man, because, you know, like, you guys know, like, we create so much stuff, and mm -hmm. you you just hope that people like it enough to pay you some money so you can pay your rent, like, yeah. take care of your family and shit. And, mm -hmm. and, like, now to make something, especially last year, like, during a pandemic, um, and to, to make it so fast and to have it actually be this well-received yeah, and, and, you know, get an Oscar nomination, dude, I've been... I've been waiting for like, you know, is this is this is this real? Like, when is the rug going to get pulled? Yeah. Like, you know, that whole like, I can't believe this is happening, man. It's been so it's been so crazy. But congrats, loving man. every minute of it, man. And when the news came through, though, were you like, you fucking with me? Like, <laughs> was it like that, or like you had kind of well, expected I, it? I no, man. I like I, we got up at five in the morning to watch the uh, watch the announcement, mm -hmm. and you know as much as people tell you they like your movie or like, oh yeah, I'm going to vote. I'm going to vote for your movie. That kind of thing. It's like, when you're black, you're just like, I don't know, man. I, yeah. I believe stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, oh, I'm a, like, when I hear my name, when I hear the name of the movie, I'll feel like it's real. And, yeah. you know, I'm watching Priyanka, Ch Priyanka, uh, uh, Chopra, Chopra yeah. and, and, and Nick Jonas read the nominees and bro, when they said our name, it was just like, Surreal. we just lost it. We just lost yeah. it. It was like, that, like, no matter what, you can't take that back. You can't Listen, take it back. <laughs> and I think the hard part that people don't realize is not just about getting the nomination, getting nominated for it. The heavy lifted is you got to get people to actually, in the industry, to go log into the website yeah, and vote. Yeah, bro. Like, and it's especially just like, now. Especially now. And it's just like, some people have the benefit because they're like, yo, I'm connected. I know everybody. I'm going to call people, get the vote out. But on this, right. it was like, yo, people genuinely enjoyed the movie and enjoyed ba Joey Badass in it and everything and enjoyed what you wrote. So, you know, congrats. That's a, you know, big honor, man. That is big honor. Man, man, you know, we, it was... And it's definitely one of those things where it's like, ah, 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 that's our guy. Yeah. 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 For real, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, it felt, it felt, man, it was crazy, man. It felt amazing. And um, I'm I'm just like, every day, I'm just happy to to, to be here, man. And yeah. To keep elevating us, man, because I feel like if I win, y'all win. If y'all win, I win. Mm -hmm. Like, we all, like, it's, it's it. all for us, man. That's a fact. That's it. It's community, bro. What was it like working with Joe? Because, like, you know, people say, like, Joey's, like, shocked yeah. me in his earlier stuff, yeah. being, like, as good as he was, because it's like, you know, oh, it's a rapper, so he's going to act, mm -hmm. and blah, blah, blah. Right, right, but this right. motherfucker can act, bro. Like yeah, he was great in Mr. Robot. Yeah, like, that was, that was where I knew him from. And so when I... When I asked him, I didn't, you know, I didn't even ask him. It was some, one of my friends who knew him who auditioned Joey for his movie, uh, James Samuel for The Heart of They Fall, that's coming out on Netflix. They, he auditioned Joey and was like, you need Joey for this role. And I was like, I don't know Joey Badass. Mm -hmm. And uh, he called up Joey. And well, I don't know what he told Joey in the few minutes between hanging up with me and calling him, but he just said yes. Like, he didn't even read the script yet. He just said yes. And so I sent him the script. And he was like, yo, I definitely want to do this. And he came to LA like a week later, bro. And he was just like into it. Like he was, he wasn't on no bullshit. He wasn't like trying to be like, I'm a rapper. I'm a, I'm a do whatever I want. I'm a show what I want. Like he was like, he was putting pressure on me. Like, yo, like, mm. what does this mean? Why do we, what do, can we say it like this? What, like he really was into making the, the character real and making the movie good. And I was so happy because like, we didn't have a lot of time. Like we shot it in five days. Like it was, mm. it was crazy. 
Talk about that, though, because that's hectic, bro. Like, people are on movie sets for months at a time, yeah. shooting, reshooting, rewriting, redoing. Five now, days, yeah, bro, impressed. you banged it up. Yeah. yeah, we had, so we shot in five days in September, and we only had, you know, normally you have 12-hour days, but because of COVID at the time, we had 10-hour days. So we were shooting, like, the first day of filming, we, we shot the end of the movie first, and we didn't even get it. So like oh, we wow. the, the sun went down, we did not have the mm. ending and we could not come back to the location. So we spent the next four days begging the dude to let us go back at the end mm-hmm. of the shoot and steal that shot because it would have been like, we needed permits for the guns. We needed yeah. all this stuff that we just couldn't get in time. And the dude was nice enough to let us do it. If he didn't do it, bro, we wouldn't be sitting here because we would have wow. had no ending. Right. Yo. So and so Jeez. we uh, we were just like, rushing trying to get this get the stuff in the can and uh to do basically everything we needed to do we would have needed like two more days in a perfect world but Mm -hmm. we got it done in five we we cut some stuff we like it was just like flying but we were building the plane dude while we were falling from the sky like yeah like it was it was so crazy but it was such a great exercise and lesson in just doing that kind of stuff and not overthinking it which sometimes can mess you up and you don't have time to overthink it so it's just like Five days in September, we knocked it out, <clears throat> and we were so glad we were able to like get get that last shot because it was when the sun went down that first day. I was like, "Oh yeah, shit, we just spent all like, this ah, money, man." That pressure, you know, pressure creates diamonds. You know what I'm saying? You think that yeah. helped you a little bit, like, and just going no, with your gut sure. and instinct? Because you said, like, yeah, I, you people yeah. tend to overthink things sometimes. Like, yeah, no, we didn't have time. It, I think I totally think it, it helped because. Oftentimes when you do have time, you end up going back to the first thing anyway, or mm-hmm. something close to it. And so right. because we were having to, you know, race against the clock to shoot this, and like we got the COVID lady on our ass, like like making sure your mask is all the way over your nose and mm-hmm. like all the like all the stuff you gotta deal with. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, like yeah. it was it six was, feet, six feet. Exactly. No, she was the bro, she was on it. And we on it. That, it cost us, you know, that cost us a third of our budget. We had to go back and re-raise a third of the money we raised just to pay for COVID. COVID. And so, um, yeah, man, it was, it was, it definitely made it better for us that we didn't have time to like think past, you know, five different ideas for a thing. Just like, this is what we think it, it should be. So this mm-hmm. is what we're going to do. And then whatever happens when the movie is finished, it happens. And I mean, it looks like by all the indica- indications, we, we nailed it. And that's been the best part of it, man, is that it came out. It came out how we wanted. That's beautiful to hear. Now, listen, Trayvon, you know how to make a good movie because, listen, you got your Oscar nomination. Now, we want to play a little game where we might revisit some movies that we might have felt were good (laughs) that didn't get Oscar nominations. We want to get your views on these movies. It's a little game we call Fake Oscars with Trayvon. I just made that up. I don't know if that's (laughs) it, but you know what? We're wrong with that. The Foskers. The Foskers. There you go. The Foskers. First up, we got The Wicker Man. Ooh, ooh, oh, Ooh, shit. Wicker Man. <laughs> is this about candles? Is this about chairs? What's this about? <laughs> right, is this about like furniture? Is this a furniture movie? <laughs> right? <laughs> also, I hope there's no scenes in there where someone's like, get out of here, you wicker. And I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> hey, whoa. Yo. Whoa. hey, yo, hey. Whoa. This movie and uh, The Village are the only movies that I've been to in a theater and seen massive amounts of people walking out. Walk out? Like, yeah. every 20 minutes, <laughs> like... Yo. Man, this shit ain't about no chairs. All right, so Wicker Man, you get you get uh, the corner furniture store salute. So shout out <laughs> to you right there. <laughs> Next, we got classic state property. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Which which is the log line here? Is it the wild generic one on top or the one on the bottom that's just like a threat? Like, right. yeah. You either get down or lay down. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I, think uh, that, I think that's just a threat. I think that is just <laughs> a threat. Like, I feel like if you open the DVD to say property, a hand stabs you. Like, yo, DVD, yeah. like, like oh, you just get oh, shanked. Oh. <laughs> get out and lay down, nigga. <laughs> stab you. Shout out to Jay Z never showing this photo to Gwyneth Paltrow. Like, no, <laughs> no. She's like, Sean, yeah. is that you? This gets the Oscar for uh, most likely to never be on a Jay Z track again. Exactly. <laughs> you know, every now and then, she, Jay-Z just be looking out the window and Beyonce be like, nope, nope, no state property three. You're not doing this, Sean. Don't do it. I just got a text from Beanie. Nope. <laughs> Beyonce, he was talking about it on DC Merrill with Trayvon. Come on, Come let me on. Get back, please. The time is now. You got to see the vision. And finally, we got Cats. 
Oh, wow. boy. Oh. Wow. <laughs> wow. 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 <laughs> you know whoever pitched this, they had no deck. They had no notes. They would just coke the fuck up. They were yeah. like, no, bro. Listen, listen, listen. It's fucking cats, but they're human. They're human, uh -huh. but they live... They live in the hood, but the hood is underneath people's tables, and Jason Derulo's in it. How much? Cut the check. And they still got buttholes. They, all the cats have buttholes. <laughs> and then like half, buttholes. Halfway through, they're like, you know what? CGI out the buttholes. And they then got they the watch buttholes. It. That, was a, that was a mistake. They got the buttholes. And then they're watching the final trailer. They're like, you know what's missing? The buttholes. Bring the them back. Buttholes. Yeah, we gotta bring them the back. They're like, that's gonna add six million to the budget. Like, movies aren't coming out without the buttholes. Sorry. <laughs> like, Yo, they did the Snyder cut. They gotta do the butthole cut. Somebody gotta leave that. Cut. <laughs> Trayvon, here is the question of the day. If they make a sequel to Cats and they ask you to be in it, are you, are you accepting the role? How big is the bag? Yeah, that's the answer. That's the answer. <laughs> Listen, I will be a Jamaican cat two-stepping with Jason Derulo. Like, hey, boy, hey. <laughs> Look at Yo, my Dominican bro, cat friend like, over here. I'm the cat from the bodega. Where <laughs> uh, <laughs> bodega cat. That's the one you get in there. <laughs> <laughs> it gets uh, Fever Dream Oscars, okay? That's what you get. Oh, man. Trayvon, thank you for playing the game with us, man. This has been fun. Again, bro, congrats on the Thanks, nomination. Man. Big proud thank of you. Thank you, guys. Vote for two distant strangers. You heard it here first. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Listen, Do the right thing. You are an illustrious guest. You get a neon sign. What would you like it to say? Make movies for black people. <laughs> there you Boom. go. Boom. Right there. Let's go. My you man right there. Oscar nominated. Let's go, my guy. Trayvon Free out here getting it, making big things, the homie. Yo, thank you, Trayvon, for talking to us. Keep doing Thanks, your thing, man. bro. Yo, welcome to the Jesus and Mero YouTube channel. That's right, you know what I'm saying? Like, subscribe, you know what I mean? That's right, we got a lot of digital content in here to keep you up in between our shows. So be sure to like, subscribe, and you know, click watch another video. We out. Hey, all the words.